Hey guys, we are multiplying decimals. Our learning target is I can multiply and divide positive decimals. So when you multiply decimals, you do not line up the decimals like you would if you subtract or add decimals. You are going to multiply the factors like they are whole numbers. Then you're going to add the decimal point. To figure out um, where to add the decimal point, um, you will look at the total number of digits to the right of the decimal point in the problem, and that is the total number of digits to the right of the decimal point in your product. So I'm going to show you that in just a second. So I've already lined these up for you. 5 times 8 is 40. 5 times 7 is 35. Add that 4 is 39. 5 times 5 is 25, and this is 28. All right, so I count 1, 2, 3. So I go 1, 2, Three, oops. So this would be two point eight nine. All right, two times five is ten, two times two, four plus one is five. 2 times 4 is 8. We're going to cross that out like we did what in normal um, standard algorithm multiplication. Add that placeholder. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 2 is 2. And 1 times 4 is 4. So then we will add these together. All right, and then I count 1, 2, 3. So one, two, three. So this would be All right, number two, we are going to line these up. It's important that you see multiplication problems done and written differently. Nine times five is 45. Nine times three is 27 plus four is 31. Nine times two is 18 plus that three is 21. I have one behind the decimal point. So my answer is 211.5. All right, we have 5.34 times 42. 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 5 is 10, cross it out with that placeholder, 4 times 4 is 16, 4 times 3 is 12, plus that 1 is 13, and then 4 times 5 is 20, plus that 1 is 21. We are going to add these. And then I count one, two. So one, two. So my answer is 224.28. Right, number one, or sorry, number four. I don't know where I got number one. 17.3 times 3 
0.67. So this one has quite a few steps. 7 times 3 is 21. 7 times 7 is 49 plus 2 is 51. And then 7 times 1 is 7 plus 5 is 12. 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times 7 is 42 plus that 1 is 43. And that's 10. Two placeholders. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 7 is 21. 3 times 1 is 3 plus that 2 is 5. So then we're going to add all of these. And then we have 1, 2, 3. So my answer is 63.491. That one was a little bit tougher. All right, we have 0 0.461 times 7.1. Seven or one times one is one, one times six is six, one times four is four, one times zero is zero. Seven times one is seven, seven times six is forty two, seven times four is twenty eight, plus that four is thirty two, seven times zero is zero, and then that three. I'm going to add these. And then I have one, two, three, four. So this is 3.2731. All right, eight times two is 16, eight times one is eight, plus that one is nine, and eight times four is 32. That placeholder, and this is just gonna be zero the whole time. So we will add these, and then we have um, one, two. So one, two, so this is 32.96. All right, number seven, 4.25 times 3.5. Five times five is 25. Five times two is 10, plus that two is 12. 5 times 4 is 20, plus that 1 is 21. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 2 is 6, plus that 1 is 7. And then 3 times 4 is 12. We're going to add these. And then we have 1, 2, 3. So 1, 2, 3. So this would be 14.875. All right, number eight, 12.75 times 6.5. Five times five is 25. Five times seven is 35 plus that two is 37. 5 times 2 is 10, plus that 3 is 13, and then 5 times 1 is 5, plus that 1 is 6. Put that placeholder there, 6 times 5 is 30. 6 times 7 is 42, plus that 3 is 45. 
6 times 2 is 12, plus that 4 is 16. 6 times 1 is 6, plus that 1 is 7. And I have 1, 2, 3 behind the decimal point, 1, 2, 3. So 82.875. All right, here are word problems. It says Jose went to the store to buy school supplies. He bought four packs of pencils for $2.45 each. How much money did he spend? The each is what is our keyword to multiply. So $2.45 times four. Four times five is 20. 4 times 4 is 16, plus that 2 is 18, and then 4 times 2 is 8, plus that 1 is 9. We have 2 behind the decimal point. So he spent a total of $9.80 on school supplies. Last one. Jessica filled up her car with gas before her drive to college. Her car... I need to fix that typo. What color am I at? I just lost track. Her car holds nine point oops, nine point five gallons and one gallon is three dollars and sixty eight cents. That is kind of expensive, so maybe she doesn't live in Texas. Um, usually, some states in um, northern U.S. have more expensive gas. Right now, I think the gas is like three twenty-five a gallon. Um, how much does it cost to fill up her car? So we are going to do three dollars and sixty-eight cents times that nine point five gallons her car holds. Eight times five is forty. 5 times 6 is 30, plus that 4 is 34. 5 times 3 is 15, plus that 3 is 18. 9 times 8 is 72. 9 times 6 is 54, plus that 7 is 61. 9 times 3 is 27, plus that 6 is 33. And then we have one, two, three behind the decimal point. One, two, three. So thirty-four dollars and ninety-six cents. That zero we could write there, but it doesn't change the value of the answer of the price.